surpassing Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Industries, State Bank of India, the largest lender in the country, has claimed the title of India's most profitable company. In the September quarter of FY23, the bank recorded a consolidated net income of Rs. 14,752 crore, outshining Reliance Industries' net earnings of Rs. 13,656 crore. On a standalone basis, State Bank of India announced a net profit of Rs. 13,265 crore, surpassing Reliance Industries, which held the mantle of the most profitable corporation of decades. Notably, SBI achieved this feat with a larger margin as Reliance faced a setback of Rs. 4,039 crore due to a windfall tax on its export in the quarter. The question stands, how far did they do so? Hi everybody, incorporated within IRL's net income are earnings of 4,729 crore from Geo platforms and 4,404 crore from the retail business both recorded before tax. This represents a slight decrease from the 13,680 crore posting during the same period the previous year. Meanwhile, Cable surge in its standalone net income, soaring by 74 percent to reach 13,256 crore during the July-September quarter. This achievement marks the bank's all-time best quarterly performance, surpassing even usually more profitable companies by a significant margin. SBI's chairman Dinesh Kumar Khara mentioned that if the bank had recorded treasury profits during the quarter, the net income would have been substantially higher. However, he didn't provide a specific quantification of this potential increase. In contrast to the other banks, SBI reported notional gains from its treasury investment, which hold an additional exposure of Rs 2.85 lakh crore beyond the mandated 19% under the statutory liquidatory ratio. The Reserve Bank requires all banks to invest 19% of their total deposit in the central government securities. During the period in review, SBI's consolidated net income experienced a notable surge of 66%, contrasting the 8,890 crore reported during the same period the previous year. Additionally, the total income of the SBI group climbed to the 1,14,782 crore in the quarter, a rise from 1,1,000. 143.26 crore during the corresponding period in the previous year. The reported financial developments can have several potential effects on the market and the consumers. The market impact would include the following. The financial performance of major companies like SBI and Reliance Industries can impact their stock prices. Possessive financial results might lead to an increase in stock prices attracting investors. Strong performance by significant players in the banking and corporate sectors can positively influence market sentiment, potentially leading to increased confidence among investors. From the investor's perception, positive financial results can boost investor confidence in the stability and growth potential of these companies. A strong showing by these companies can attract more domestic and international investors, contributing to market liquidity. From the consumer effect, the bank's financial health can influence their lending rate. If a bank like SBI reports good performance, it might impact the interest rates of loans and saving accounts. Positive corporate financial results can enhance overall economic sentiment. This could encourage consumer spending as people feel more secure about their financial situation. Favorable financial news from major corporations can indirectly impact consumer sentiment, contributing to a positive perception of economic stability. From a market competitiveness, a strong showing by SBI might prompt other banks to enhance their strategies and financial performance to remain competitive, potentially leading to improved service and offerings for consumers. From a regulative scrutiny, significant shifts in financial performance might attract regulatory attention, with authorities potentially reviving the operations and practices of the company. From the industry trends point of view, the performance of major players can set benchmarks for the respective industries, influencing the expectations and performance of other companies. And for the overall economic perception, positive financial results can contribute to a broader perception of a growing and robust economy influencing consumer and investor behavior.
hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.